Ready, aim, fire. To help our Citadel raid for no, we want normal loot for Windwalker, which is me. Um Oh, I'm in PvP gear. Anyway, it's it's close to best in slot. I mean it's it's pretty good for crafting weapons, you know, they've kind of brought back um that you know, aspect of being able to craft your best in slot item or being able to craft items that are actually usable in in game, which I think is a great, great idea, you know. Professions seem to be only uh, either cosmetic or, you know, little toys or whatever, and nothing really useful, but now, you know, you have people going around crafting, trying to get items, using the auction house um, to sell items and stuff like that, and it's really um, put a lot more useful things back into into the game, which I think is fantastic. So I think that's a really good idea. Um, Apologies for traffic outside. I live on a very noisy street, and yes, happens quite fre frequently. Don't know if you heard that or not, but um, yeah. So, viz, what are you? Ah, human, human priest. I don't know if I'll be able to kill you, but you'll probably die when we get to the event, so that's okay. You can run around on your chicken all you want. Could be a chicken running on your chicken. There we go. Hi. Oh, that's a lot of alliance. I'm <laughs> running away. Nope. I need to wait for backup. I cannot take on 50 people at a time. Holy crap, that's a lot of debuffs. <laughs> me. Don't even need to be next to me to kill me. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna die. This is ridiculous. Holy shit. There we go. Jesus, that guy must have been geared to the teeth. Oh, I'm just squishy. There we go. Let's just thank that guy. Alright. Um, Alright, so quickly, just before I come back, I'm going to activate my <laughs> spec that I should be in from the very start, which is a bit, bit stupid of me. Okay, there we go. So now I've got... Oh, shit. Alright, let's... Okay, karma. Karma is good. Oh, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> up, just got absolutely owned. Karma and rogues do not mix. I don't think that they really know what karma does. They end up still hitting me anyway and absolutely just wrecking their own face. Um, along with the, my hurricane strike there. <laughs> just no hope. Let's get this. Go on, there we go. Oh, there we are. Don't don't try and clone me. Come on, there we go. You're dead. No, let's try and steal that. Steal that. So that rock. No, nope. didn't get it. Oh, they're still winning. Oh, let's let's spin to win on there. Base thing. There we go. Boom. Hurricane strikes. Amazing. I love hurricane strikes. All right, let's steal that. Let's try and run. Oh no. Why did that get knocked off? Oh, because they won. That's why. Oh, well. Can't win them all. Can't win them all. I'm getting a lot of kills here, though. That's great. I just need a hundred more kills. Only a hundred, you know. Blizzard likes their big numbers. Um, I do apologize for swearing in videos. Um, yeah, I just, I just noticed before that I did swear then. Get a little bit excited sometimes. Can't help it. Um... Yeah, but if it does offend anyone, I do I do apologise. Um, I just when I play with play with my mates and stuff like that, it just comes out and just habit, I guess. So I'll try I try and stick out of that habit. Um, I'll get out of that habit for my YouTube videos. Um, yeah, so just don't want to upset anyone. Alrighty, so sandstone Drake, boom, love this mount. I just got this the other day. Um, my guildies helped me make it, so. Very, very expensive, but very, very cool. Um, yeah, my my mate um, that I play with, uh, he has a couple of two-person two flying mounts um, from Recruit a Friend and that kind of stuff. Um, but, yeah, I never I never did. So when, when he was leveling and he's like, oh, Aiden, you know, come help, come help me out. I, you know, I need, I need, 
I need someone to fly me from here to here or, you know, get me to this place and help me with this quest or whatever. And I was like, yeah, but I don't have a two-person flying mount. So I finally got one. Finally, finally got one. Um, so next time that he needs a hand, you know, not a problem. So, yeah. Guess we're capping flags again. What's on the map? Let's see. Ah, Ogre's up. That would be why everyone's going this way. Let's kick his ass. Serpent flying kick. Alright, boom. Alright. Let's pop some cooldowns. Hurricane strike there. Oh. Oh, I died. <laughs> I got absolutely squished. Didn't cast Karma in time. Not sure if it works for that guy, but. There we go. 10 seconds on res. Ah, oh, lost three fragments, it's alright, didn't have any. Uh, so let's see, you've got 2050 conquest, I've got four max honor, because I just don't need any of the gear. Um, I was considering buying some transmog gear with it, actually, so uh, if any of you have any ideas of what transmog I should get um, that requires honor, um, yeah, just tell me what to spend it on, I'll spend it. So, um, don't really need it. Um, oh, can I cast that here? Oh, I can! <laughs> this uh, is amazing. Um, a Avian's Feather. Uh, it's from the inn, level 2. Uh, well, I have mine at level 2. Uh, and, yeah, this thing's amazing. Sorry, swearing again. But this thing, so, so good. Um, very easy. It's just a, a quest from the inn. Um, at your garrison, uh, or tavern, I think it is for the alliance. As I don't play alliance, I play horde um, exclusively because I think they're just way cooler. I mean, undead. How you know can't get any better than undead. Um, yeah, but getting this thing has made my life so much easier. It's amazing. There we go. Just drop in there. Drop straight on the alliance. They're like, what? The uh, again, swearing. Oh, I need to. Wash my mouth out of something. Um, I might cut this, <laughs> cut those swears out of the video, bleep them out. Um, yeah, so really, really cool. Le level two in or tavern, whatever it is. Um, and yeah, it's just a quest in 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 spires spires of Varak? No, no. What's it called? The the instance. Instance dungeon finder just in the mi just in the middle of a of a melee fight to the death. Um, just looking this up. It is Skyreach. Skyreach. Good old Skyreach. Um, very easy. Just like kill the last boss and pick up an item halfway through the instance, and bam, you have a flying uh flying thing, <laughs> which is really really strong. Like it's really good for a place that doesn't have flying. Um, though I have already done the achievement to get flying in the next patch, or, yeah, whenever that comes out, uh, 6.2.x, I believe, is when they're bringing it out, um, so, yes, that'll be interesting. Um, I, I quite liked that idea, instead of just being able to buy the, um, buy flying in the, in the world, they had to actually go out and explore the content that they made. Like... You know, I mean, I'll, some people would be just like, oh, you know, whatever, I can't be bothered playing storyline or, you know, that kind of stuff. I just want to have the thing, like instant gratification kind of thing. But I think it's good that you had to, you know, go and explore the different places um, and that kind of stuff just to unlock and experience the, you know, the stuff that they put so much work into making that, you know, they, they want people to enjoy it. They want people to... to be able to play it and experience it um, at least once. So once you have it on one character, you know all your characters can be able to fly in Draenor. So you only have to do it once. Um, it's not, not that big a deal. Um, people, I've seen a lot of people like guildies and um, and just people on tr trade chat and that kind of stuff really, really kick up a stink about um, you know farming the rep and that kind of stuff to be able to get oh killing blow nice um, to be able to get um, the flying and I'm like well it's three factions with daily quests um, you know one of them you can grind you can just kill the saber stalkers and grind up that rep that took me like 
an hour or two of just grinding, running around to the different bosses and killing them. They give 600 rep each. You know, it's really easy, guys. Like, Saber Stalker is not a problem. Um, you only have to get revered. You don't even have to get exalted. Like, you don't have to sit there farming the hardest part, the, you know... Uh, 21k rep for getting exalted. You know, you only need the 12k rep. You know, it's it's not that hard. It's not that big a deal. Um, the the farming of the others with the daily quests, it's a little slower. I I do admit it's a little it's uh, fairly slow. But you know, I did it after two three weeks of just doing the dailies. Um, it's not that hard. The dailies take like an hour, if that. Um, depends on how lucky you get with the um, with the the ten fragments for the Order of the Awakened. Um, you know, you can just run around and kill rares for that one. But um, you know, finding those rares can be difficult. Um, once you've gotten all the secrets in in that place, all the secret treasures, um, if you bought the treasure map, um, you know, you've run out of uh, boxes to collect that usually have them in there, um, which does suck as well, but again, it, you just have to farm those rares and run around. It's it's not hard. You don't have to do vengeance or doom roller or uh, death talon or whatever the other one is. Um, you know, you don't have to do those to get it. It's just any rare. You know, um, order of the awakened also has the um, uh, what is called. Oh, I've totally forgotten. This thing, uh, Hunter's Seeking Crystal, teleports you to, I mean, you have to be revered to get this one, um, but I think the other one is only honoured, um, and that will teleport you to the closest rare, and, you know, that's, that's awesome. <laughs> you know, you don't have to do, it cuts out half the work, so, it's really pretty easy to get, um, to get revered with all those three, and then the rest of it, you know, you could have done before 6.2 6 came out, and, um, yeah, it's not that big a deal, just do it, <laughs> you'll be able to then fly on every character that you have, so, just, uh, yeah, get on it, uh, let's kill this, kill this guy, hopefully he'll drop another auction house part, um, they sell very well, um, that's my little secret, so, shh, <laughs> um, very rare drops, but, um, that's how I made my gold, that's how I got my gold for, um, for my, uh, stone drake, so, sandstone drake, it's just, uh, got lucky, got a couple of these things, sold them on the auction house, um, I did have all the parts to put it into my garrison, but my mate talked me into it, um, into making, uh, ah, no, no part for that one, yeah, my mate talked me into getting, Rather than rather than buying that, because it's it's just an auctioneer in your garrison. You don't really need it. There's no real point. There's a portal to and from your garrison, or from your garrison to um, War Spear, that you can actually, you know, use a, um, use the auctioneer there. Um, so there isn't really much point in having one in your garrison. It's cool as hell. Like I really wanted it. Um, but my mates like, for one auction house part. It sells for 50k gold. You might as well get the 50k gold. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, fair point. <laughs> so, got 50k gold and spent it in a week. <laughs> spent it very fast. So, yeah. Uh, all right. Well, that's uh, two two events down. So I think I'm gonna cut the video there. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. It's my first YouTube video, so. You know, feedback is always appreciated. Um, yeah, give it a thumbs up if you like it. Um, will help out hugely. But, yeah, and if you're new to my channel, um, I'll definitely be bringing out some more videos, um, both World of Warcraft related. Uh, I'll probably start end up starting a Minecraft series as well. Um, just <laughs> yet, yet another Minecraft series on YouTube. Um, but, yeah, I'll be doing some, hopefully doing some unique things with that as well um, to make it a bit different from everyone else. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, yeah, so welcome to my YouTube channel and I hope you enjoyed. Have a good day, guys.